Hello there. Welcome to the Light Channel. Are you surprised about my heart? Yes, it's on purpose. I'm changing heart to announce to you that we are moving to a completely new terrain. And I hope you love the heart. Welcome. TMAC is my name. DLI is the channel, Development, Empowerment and Leadership Initiative, where we have the vision of world transformation, one man at a time, one community at a time. So, let's do a quick rundown this week, because this week's video really is to just do a bridge between where we are coming from and where we're going. So, over the last couple of weeks, we have been focusing on money management. And one thing that we've tried to do is to focus on how do you create assets. Now, remember that our definition of asset is whatever pays you. We've said a lot. If you missed it, please go and watch so that the knowledge can be full for you because we are getting to a major pivotal point where we are transiting to a completely new side of the conversation. Now, what has been the overall theme for this side we've been focusing on? The overall theme has been on career. We started just about a year and a half ago where we focused on everything that has to do with career. From when you left school, how do you write your CV, how do you write your application, and we've run that all through. We've touched on a few behavioral things about the attributes you need for success. That led us up to the last series, which I said just now, has to do with money management. And we have said that in creating assets, there are different options that you have. You can focus on cash, near cash, and non-cash. And that whatever you do, you need to have a mix of everything because usually opportunities arise and only those with cash can optimize and utilize it. So, in essence, this section that we are moving on now is completely moving to the entrepreneurship side of the conversation. Why? What is the bridge? What we are saying is that one of the ways by which you can create assets is to be an entrepreneur. It could be that you yourself is actively involved in entrepreneurship or you are facilitating an entrepreneur in a manner that helps that person on in their vision and in their direction. And if you do that, then you will not just be creating assets, you will be creating it in a significantly more sustainable manner. In essence, I welcome you to Entrepreneurship Made Simple, E-M-S. We've been focusing on Career Made Simple, which is C-M-S. Now we are starting Entrepreneurship Made Simple, E-M-S. What will this be about? We are going to go through the length and breadth of what entrepreneurship is all about. We will define it, we will explore it, we will find out what the DNA of an entrepreneur is, we will try and identify the different types of entrepreneurs, we will focus on the real essence, we will then go to the attributes that you need, how do you start, what happens when you are flourishing, what happens when you are struggling, we go all the way even to succession planning. How do you turn it into an enterprise that can survive you? Are you aware actually that there is a difference between being self-employed and being an entrepreneur? These are the things that we are going to cover in this new series that we are starting. So you are welcome on board. So I encourage you, if you have missed any of the past episodes, please go back and watch. And if you know anybody who needs to be invited into this new series, send them this short video so that everybody can get ready for the new game that is about to start, which is called Entrepreneurship Made Simple. Timak is still my name, and all I'm trying to do is what? Make a little difference. Thanks, and see you next week. Bye.